All right, welcome back for another black pepper update. This is Brent. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking out the video. If you've been here before, uh, yeah, again, welcome back. So we're gonna try things with a different format. Uh, before in previous videos, I've kind of like gone around with a, a selfie stick, trying to just like show things and talk about things and I think it seems a little hectic. It's fun in some regards, but it can be a little a little jarring. So I wanted to uh, kind of orient these updates a little bit more. Um, and this has also been brought about by the encouragement of, of Darina, who's kind of like behind the scenes helps with some of the creative direction for the, the update videos. So yeah, what we'll do is I'll just quickly talk about some of the things will show in the update and then I'll kind of go from place to place to show what's going on and hopefully that'll give people um, a better understanding of, of what we're doing here it'll be a little more stable um, and just hopefully a more enjoyable viewing experience so today what I wanted to show is the uh, the roof of our cafe that's almost complete we still need to do a few touch-up things um, kind of like paint and, and whatnot but for the most part um, it's done it looks really cool I wanted to show off uh, one of our ponds we have a bunch of water hyacinths that we actually use for um, kind of uh, like uh, pond management uh, and keeping the, the algae under control and they also look really cool in this particular pond that we have there's a bunch of purple flowers um, and then I wanted to show one of our walk paths and something that I just kind of noticed recently after we've mowed and we've done more pruning is the the coconut trees at least from you know now to a year ago have grown considerably I remember when when Dreen and I first got here we had to kind of like duck down to walk under everything you know um, some of the coconut trees are almost like from the trunk the the base of the trunk to like where the branches are uh, they're almost as tall as me um, so yeah, I just wanted to show that and and then that'll be a wrap we're gonna do some timestamps so if you want to just jump to a particular part I think this is still going uh, if you want to jump to a particular part uh, you can skip ahead and yeah we'll see you uh, on the cafe roof all right so I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, but I wanted to try to give a, a close-up here at the top of the roof. The sun's kind of in my eyes, but before, if you didn't see it, it was thatch, and now it's kind of like a, like a ceramic sort of scaly pattern and it's just much more, much more stable, sturdy. It'll last, you know, for a hundred or so years. And then I wanted to come up here to the top of the roof, do a, a little pan. So here's the, the pond that I was talking about in the beginning that has a bunch of water hyacinths and everything that you see that's green is coverage from the water hyacinth and then if we zoom in here you can see a bunch of purple flowers that are there. So, probably, it took us a good year or so with the, the rest of the ponds throughout the property to really figure out a way that consistently kept the, the algae under control. We hid, you know, um, we would go through and just kind of scrape the surface um, and, you know, we would try to run new water in and 
it just took us a lot to really figure out what we needed to do to get it under control but the water hyacinths have been you know probably the, the best solution it took a little bit for them to actually start uh, consuming the nitrates that help to promote the algae blooms but after a while um, you know everything is pretty well under control and uh, we can actually take the water hyacinths from this pond here and if we need to you know add some more in different places we can just take these and uh, and add more and then they'll just kind of grow back here you can also use the the purple flowers uh, for soups and uh, you know if we ever need to take hyacinths out like if there's too many they actually make for really good fertilizer as well so you can just take them out we can put them on the embankment and then after they dry out a little bit you can just either mix them in with a compost that you already have going or you can uh, put them kind of on top of wherever you're you're trying to grow different things so um, they're beneficial in a lot of different ways and I guess with that we'll see you over at the uh, walking path to talk about the coconut trees. All right, so this is kind of our more narrow walk path that we have here that goes by the cafe. But this is the, uh, the coconut tree that really kind of made me realize like how much things have grown here in a little more than a year now. Uh, when Doreen and I first got here, um, what was it like November of um, 2019 the, the branches are probably down to here and we we needed to like duck under everything to kind of walk around and we actually didn't even have a path here so it's just it's pretty cool to see like how much things have grown and and will continue to grow. I mean, these coconut trees are gonna get to be you know, several times the size that they are right now. Um, but it'll just be, it'll be neat to look back even on this video to, to see like, okay, they were this tall. You know, they're, this one in particular is taller than me, but you know, how far they're gonna grow from here. And you can actually see down in this area, I was talking about the, the water hyacinths that we're using to mitigate the algae the way we have it set up is you know if, if algae starts to accumulate in the the water areas the hyacinths kind of go along the edges of the embankments so the you know when the wind blows the algae will just kind of move into where the hyacinths are the nitrates will move into where the hyacinths are they'll consume the nitrates and then that mitigates the the algae blooms so if if anyone is is looking for tips uh, you know for, for pond management in Cambodia it's been really really helpful for us so I guess with that that'll wrap up the update uh, thanks a ton for for checking it out you know if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below uh, subscribe uh, hit the bell button if you want to be notified as to what we're doing here. As of right now, we're still closed because Cambodia is going through, uh, just going through a, a surge in cases in regards to uh, the pandemic. So we're just kind of waiting it out and staying busy here at the, the property. Uh, but yeah, wishing everybody the best. Stay well and healthy. Take care and we'll catch you next time. Peace.